Hi, this is Tim Just, the 8020TD, T-H-E 80-20TD.com. Let's look at how to enter the game's results in Win TD. I've highlighted the section. Let's go get the games. This is round one. I'm going to make the window a little bit bigger for us. You highlight the game and you enter the results for only the white player. Make sure that you're holding all the results in your hand. And I mean all the results. If you're just missing one result, you might get away with that. You're missing four or five. This becomes really a very tough row to hold. Make sure all the results are in on your pairing sheet. W will be a win, L a loss, D a draw. Let's start entering these. Okay, let's see L. Notice how the result is here and for the black player. It does it automatically for you. Okay, W, L, W, L, W. Oh, we have a draw, D. And we have a game where there was a forfeit. Let's double click this. Find on our list, and we have a lot of choices here, the one that gives my opponent a one game by forfeit. This makes sure no rating points ex gets exchanged between us, and it automatically withdraws me as the opponent who did not show up from the tournament. We don't want to be pairing me if I'm not going to be showing up. And we'll say OK. Take your pairing sheet. Look at the results of the players who played the black pieces and compare them with what's on this screen here. Uh, an assistant can read them for you or you can hold it up to the screen and compare them. Let me compare. Yep, looks okay to me. Let's save it. Next up, let's correct some errors that typically creep in. One error that creeps in is results do get reported incorrectly. In game one, the player just came to you and told you they reported the game incorrectly. Highlight it, double click it, and here it says who won. Well, change that. Change it to the person who actually won and say OK. It changed for you. Another problem is players that play the wrong color. Let's highlight this game. These players have told me they accidentally played the wrong color. The colors that were not on the pairing sheet. As long as it's only for this one game, you can grab and switch the players the way we did in the pairings video. I'm switching the white player with the black player. Notice how their scores followed them? It becomes a bit trickier if you have to switch players between boards and the results are in. Here's how you would do that. Highlight the games. Get rid of the results for those games. If you're doing more than one, it's easy to use games, clear results and then switch the players to the boards and opponents they actually played. And then make sure you enter the results properly. There we go. And the last thing we typically have to take care of is when a player who requested a buy, yes ladies and gentlemen, I requested a buy, that's why I wasn't there and forfeited that game, end up getting paired. If this game shows up on the wall charts and I have a half point and my opponent has the full point, people just shake their head and they don't understand. So the easiest way to take care of that and give both players what they are legitimately do is to highlight the game, double click on it, and first of all get rid of this check mark. Make sure that just Timothy W, the player with the buy that accidentally got paired, is going to be able to play the rest of the tournament. Without getting rid of that check mark, they won't be paired next round. Okay. Game still highlighted. No actual game results were in. It was a forfeit, so I can clear that. When I've cleared it, that game won't show up on the wall charts. I'm going to press this S button to get back to the screen with all my sections. There's my open section. And I'm going to list all the players so that I can find my opponent and double click on it and go to the assign buys portion of this screen and assign the buy for round one that equals the score my opponent got as a forfeit win. One point. Okay. No, it was not a requested buy. Let's scroll on down and find me. Highlight me. Double click me. Yes, I am active. That's important to check that this player who had the buy is still active. Assign buys. Round one, half point by. 
Okay. Okay. Let's save it. Next up, we're going to pair the next round. Before you pair the next round, it's really important to go check the withdrawal list. I still have my players list open here, and I check the withdrawal list, and I notice that, that this player, this player, and this player all wanted to withdraw. They really don't, but I want to show you how you could withdraw them all at once by highlighting them and simply clicking on this button right here. Check them out. They're all withdrawn. They will not be paired next round. Well, I really want them to play, so I want them to come back in. They're still highlighted. This button will check them back in. In another video, we'll show you the advanced technique of how to deal with people who actually re-enter and want to play on a different schedule. Let's make the pairings for the next round. Open, section, pair around. Round two, ten is our level. Yeah, there we go. Let's look at these games. And someone just told me there was another bad game result. Well, that didn't really happen, but I want to show you what happens if that occurs. If you haven't put up the pairings yet, just redo the pairings. Go up here to edit, undo the pairings, fix up the game results from round one, redo the pairings. Or you can select all the players and then clear them. Both result in exactly the same thing. However, as luck would have it, in most tournaments, players tell you this after they're seated and they're looking at their opponent. And other boards have already started. Find the boards where the two players, and in this case it was Ensley and Gurevich, are playing. Let's make the screen bigger so we can find them. And stop those games. Let's see. There, let's, there's Ensley, and it jumped over there because I have a small screen, and I clicked on someone on the right. Let's go find Gurevich, and there's Gurevich. This method I'm about to show you isn't the best recommended method on the face of the earth. You're going to switch Gurevich and Ensley in their games. This does mess up their colors tremendously. No doubt about it. But once the games have already started, it's about the only thing you can do to fix up the problem of an unreported or a bad result. Here I go. I grab Gurevich and I switch him with his former opponent, Ensley. They've now switched their games. And while those players are playing, you can spend some time fixing up round one. Open, highlighted, section. Scroll on down to list game specific round, round one. OK, find the game in question, double click it, and change the winner. Say OK. Don't forget to save it. You're done. We'll see you next time on the 8020 TD.